All right, guys. So I got done playing Legend of Zelda Echoes, Echoes of Wisdom. So let me give you guys my review on this game. So let's get started with the biggest thing in the room, the gameplay. So the gameplay can be separated into two categories. You got the exploration, the puzzles, and the platforming. That's one category. And the other category is the combat. Let me start with the puzzle platforming. So you get the wand, the Echo wand or whatever it's called, right? So you use this to summon all sorts of things. You can summon objects like beds, boxes, jumpers, platforms platformers but whatever you want to do and this actually is pretty creative it adds it adds to the exploration of hyrule field and other different areas for example you see a heart piece on a pillar in hyrule field hmm then you have to start thinking how can i get up there what can i spawn what can i spawn with my wand to help me get up there and then you start thinking and you know it, it gets creative yeah you have to find creative ways to get to different places all over hyrule field you can explore hyrule field in ways that were never possible. Oh, I see a cliff there. Previously in other Zelda games, you couldn't get up there because Link couldn't jump, right? Here, you can spawn a box, so two boxes, three boxes, a platform, go up and down, and get to an area that was previously inaccessible. That's I like that. That's pretty creative. It, it lends to itself. It lends to different puzzles you can find in caves all over the place, side quests you can do. I like that aspect. It even lends to it in the dungeons. The dungeons itself are pretty creative. Only one caveat with the dungeons that some parts of the dungeon they're really obscure you really couldn't figure it out so i had to look up a youtube walkthrough for those parts but otherwise the dungeons and the boss fights are pretty damn good they really take advantage of the power of the one the objects you can spawn and they use it in a very creative way i really like that part right but however the part that i don't like about this game is the is the is the combat the combat feels so tedious once again zelda doesn't have a sword zelda is not link she can't go attack people with sword well only in a very limited capacity you can use the sword but you have a you have an energy meter once that energy meter runs out you can't use the sword anymore why i don't know uh, but other than that you gotta spawn echoes to go fight enemies and these echoes don't have the best of ai and takes them forever to kill an enemy i spawn a dark nut to go fight my enemy i'm just sitting there watching oh man when is this thing gonna kill my enemy so i can move forward you're watching you're watching and you're watching and it never ends gosh let me just get my energy meter back and kill him with my sword that that's the thing about this game zelda herself is not necessary to this game you, this game could have worked with link you could have had link's mighty sword and you could have had the had the wand together it would have been a, a lot better game when you could have had the best of both worlds yeah let me use link's combat skills and let me use the wand to do all this exploration and platforming and creative stuff but no you had to play a zelda god god knows why why we had to play as Zelda. The, playing as Zelda adds nothing to this story. It would if it adds nothing to the story, nothing to this game. You could have played as Link, and the story would have barely changed in this game. That leads me to my next point the story is very bare bones they could have done so much more with this story the story is pretty much another oh another generic bad guy has appeared he's spawning rifts taking hyrule bits and pieces hyrule is getting swallowed by these rifts you go into these rifts you restore hyrule that's it later on in the game you find out oh this is another evil guy he wants to take down hyrule what's new they could have done something a lot a lot more creative like where well, they could have done something this this story is nothing like skyward sword or um, uh link between worlds like link between worlds that was creative like uh, you had princess helda and you had these evil counterparts clone counterparts you could have done all and that was a lot more creative game this game feels very very safe very boring very stale very generic it just very feels very cookie cutter very typical zelda right they don't take any risks with the story here in this game unfortunately very unfortunate which leads me to my next point this is the graphics i don't like the graphics in this game the, gra the this the, this type of graphical style may have worked with the link links awakening remake but here no I, I just feel like i'm playing with a toy but everything feels very plasticky it doesn't feel organic like you have you guys seen the link a link to the past art style i wish they would have used something like here it would have felt a lot more epic a lot more of like a classic 2d zelda game uh going back to that timeline the downfall time i'm pretty sure this game takes place during the downfall timeline so i wished I wish they would have used that graphical stuff. Here, it just feels like a turn off. Like I'm playing with a toy. I'm playing with clay models or plastic figurines or stuff. Like it just doesn't work for a game like this. I don't know. Maybe it would. It worked for Link's Awakening because we all knew that was a 2D remake of a game. But here, this is the all new game. You guys, guys, you guys could have done something way better. So for me, it just doesn't work. I don't like it. It just feels off. It just feels overplayed. I don't know. 
I next up the controls. Oh my god, the controls took me a long time to get used to because there's so many different functions to use with the control. Like, oh yeah, yeah the wand. Okay, this button is used to spawn stuff, but this button is used to uh, use try to pull up and down and follow and do all that stuff. Oh, but then this button is used to okay, unspawn the uh, echoes. Oh, but then you gotta use this button to do that, and then this button to jump. Then then you have to use the left and right D pads to go through sort through all your echoes. Oh, then you press up on the D pad to turn to link mode to use your sword but when you're in link mode then you gotta press x to use your arrows then you have to use your bombs and they it's all over the place the controls took me a several several hours to get down to feel like okay now i have some muscle memory but that's a major con you shouldn't have that in a game like zelda where the controls are pretty tough to get but anyways guys this game don't believe don't believe the hype no definitely don't believe the hype this game is not a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 or even an 8 out of 10 at best, at best, this game, I would give it a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 is very underwhelming. It's, if Honestly, it feels like a chore to play. Because it, it feels like a chore to play. The combat is really boring. The exploration go, go only so far. The story is not interesting. The controls suck. It's a very underwhelming Zelda game. I wish they do something different after this. Like Breath of the Wild, disappointment. Tears of the King, disappointment. This game... Major disappointment, guys. Don't believe the hype. Wait for a sale. Bip. Oh, Zelda games never come on sale. But whatever. If you're that desperate, I don't know. Find it used, something. But it's not worth the, what, $69.99 or $59.99, whatever. I paid for it. Not worth it. You could get a much better game. Much better. And the better games worth your time. Not this game, definitely. It's not the Zelda quality you expect. That's for sure.